we're showing today is uh, the Snapdragon 800 processor and some of the common use cases that will uh, be undertaken and, and how the Snapdragon 800 you know, built by Qualcomm uh, is different than our competition. In the first case here, we have the profiler showing the CPU utilization of each of the cores. And as you can see, two of the cores are active while two remain dormant. Uh, this is unique to Qualcomm architecture, our ability to actually throttle cores and reduce core, uh, CPU consumption and reduce power consumption at the same time. So as soon as I bring up an application, you can see two cores remain on. Uh, this core comes on briefly, but then powers back down, saving power, saving battery life on the device. Back here, we have the same profiler being run, except we're decoding HD video on the, um, on the CPU cores. And so you can see up here we have HD video. Each of the cores is now being uh, really utilized, leveraged. So three of the cores are running, and still this fourth core remains inactive, uh, saving the user power. So this is an extreme use case, right, doing real-time HD video decoding on CPU. Uh, typically devices would offload this to a video core, but this is a good demonstration of the kind of power you're going to see in Snapdragon 800. So moving over here, what we were showing is a couple of use cases for uh, web browsing. So web browsing is a very popular application use case on top of mobile devices. Um, you know, various uh, uh, surveys have shown that it's the number one application that users use on the device. Uh, what we have here is a custom built a custom built browser uh, that we've, uh, for this demonstration, it's got a ribbon control. We have a piece of WebGL content in the background. We can switch these, add different content, add different effects. And you can see that the Snapdragon device keeps up with it very well. It's been dispensed with the ribbon to showcase WebGL content being shown on a Snapdragon 800 device. WebGL is an emerging uh, JavaScript API around embedding 3D graphics in the browser. It's very CPU and GPU intensive, and as you can see, the Snapdragon device does really well with it. Over here, we have a uh, similarly uh, exhausting use case. So we have the same content here, but we're also doing four video decodes at the same time, as well as showing some accelerated HTML5 canvas, and a quick chart to showcase some of the browser improvements that you have. Uh, on Snapdragon. What's nice about this is Qualcomm, we've been working with our OEMs to implement the same features on commercial devices. So what you see on the Snapdragon 800 is also what you can see on currently shipping devices. So this is a Snapdragon 600 based device. It's the HTC Droid DNA on Verizon. And you can see it also has nice WebGL content. And you can manipulate the content, bring it in closer, and you can see the content is still seamlessly showing. Okay. Okay.